Okay, so I picked up another junk car. junk car and this junk car I'm actually pretty excited about it's a 1949 Plymouth special deluxe and I got all the trim for it I got the bumper got the trim pieces everything's in the trunk I just picked this thing up from Carrollton Texas get it unloaded and then I'll show you guys the inside of it it's actually really clean couple cracks looks like there's some glass in the back I don't know I'll have to look and see if it's glass for this car but the good thing about this car is the wind the windows are all flat glass so I can I think I can have glass cut for this thing or worst case it's just really cheap this one was last registered in uh, 2003 it looks like 11 3 so 2003 2003 what else we got the, the person I bought it from their grandfather had passed away and it was his it was his baby and he was working on it and I found out that he actually added he added disc brakes to it so he did he added disc brakes on there the gas tank looks pretty clean I claim that they had it running that it, they, he started it up like four or five years ago. Who knows? We'll see. There's a lot of stuff that's taken apart. But, all right, let me get this thing unloaded and I'll show you all the inside of it. Okay, we got it unloaded. We'll go ahead and check the driver's side first. OMG, look at that. Look at those door panels. This car is so solid, man. Headliner sagging. We could probably fix it though. Has good sun blockers. Steering wheel's not bad. Carpet doesn't look bad. Smells like weed in here really, really bad. Somebody was hotboxing in here. It smells like weed. So we got one. We got one free tire. Really good. Wow, that's not bad. This car is freaking awesome. Look, I don't know what this is, but it comes with this. <clears throat> oh no. Oh, this isn't good. I think I'm going to end up keeping this car. I can already feel it. I'm going to set this in the trunk, whatever it is. I've already looked in the trunk. I didn't even check this car out. I literally just went. It was so cheap, I just went and just picked it up. I didn't even look under the frame or anything. What we got? What we got? Oh, look. Some free freaking coveralls. No way, dude. Look at that. Got free coveralls. Yeah. And of course, the gas pedal is all the way to the floor. The brakes all the way to the floor. We got a clutch. I know we have a clutch. And this is a three-speed manual. Because this would be neutral. And you pull it towards you. And down would be first. Up, out. 
and up second third I hope this radio works we got all kinds of stuff look at this he was gonna convert it to electric wipers cracking the windshield good rear view mirror like always cracking that glass good we got the bumper we got all the trim <clears throat> oh look made a little bit of my money back the grill and this windshield this windshield doesn't go to this car it looks like the back of a chevy pickup <clears throat> looks like he was planning on putting these tires on there man look at this back seat dude it's in perfect condition oh my gosh this is insane look at this oh this is awesome man look at the door panels this is in way better shape than that old rambler was not only do i have floors this time but i actually have carpet what this goes to but another tire these are all good tires i can put these tires on there's the front bumper piece got a stars and stripes bottle jb weld will fix that fix that heck yeah look at that the headlight bezels dude I'm excited about this. I'm starting to get excited. That's the original tire rim right there. I got all the original rim wheels. This is um, this is blowing my mind right now. I can't believe this. Look at this, man. This thing is so clean. Look at this seat. What is happening right now? I, I just got so freaking lucky, dude. I didn't even look. I didn't even take anything out or check the car out. I just was like, I'll come get it. Dude, look at this. A spare tire. <clears throat> I think this is the original spare. Original spare is right here. Seven tires. Oh my gosh. Wow. Look at that, dude. Look at that. That is crazy. Oh, this is a nice car. Let's go see what's in that. It's, like it's trash. I think that's trash. Look at that door. Look. Okay, I'm going to go throw this trash away. I'm going to go get some tools, get some gas, and I'm going to fire this thing up. The master cylinder is in the trunk. I'll show you all the trunk here in a little bit. hope I'm driving this thing to Applebee's today. I got to date it with the wife at Applebee's, so probably gonna be taking. Okay, it's a couple days later. I'm gonna we're gonna go ahead and get this thing started today for sure. I had to pick up an ignition switch because I don't have the keys. I don't know if you can see that, but I'm missing the keys. And this ignition switch right here should work. It's just like a generic ignition switch. I'm gonna go ahead and take the, the air cleaner off. I don't want to suck anything down into the motor. I don't know what's in there, so. Look at all that rat crap. There's rat crap everywhere. <laughs> that actually looks really clean. <clears throat> wow. Okay. I noticed the carburetor is a little bit loose and the distributor, the distributor bolt was loose. So I think he was trying to, I think he was messing with the timing, but he had the battery hooked up backwards because it's supposed to be a positive ground. I'll put the battery the right way. And I, I know people are gonna say, you're not supposed to do that, it's six volts. But I'm gonna jump start it with a 12 volt, with 12 volt truck. <clears throat> what is going on? How do you take this off? I guess it unscrews. Oh yeah, there's a clamp on there. 
That's cool. I think this is like an oil bath. I don't know. It's kind of an awkward hood. You gotta kind of lean under it, but <clears throat> whatever. <clears throat> oh shit, what happened? The carburetor's free. This spring needs to be replaced. Spark plug wires are trash. Get it to at least light off on. If I can get it to at least light off on one cylinder, we'll be okay. <clears throat> a lot of loose stuff, man. He, I guess the guy took a lot of stuff apart. He's getting ready to paint it or something. I don't know. I think this is a 12 volt battery too, which it should be a six volt and it's hooked up backwards. So I'm not sure when that was done or if it caused any damage, I guess we'll find out on these old Plymouths. Um, this one's in the 49, the it's a positive ground, which means the ground cable goes on the positive side of the battery. See? So, if you didn't know, now you know. <clears throat> don't look it up backwards. I don't know what will happen, but it can't be good. <clears throat> Ow. Okay, this battery's dead. I'm gonna put power to it and just, I mean, just check, look around and see if I see any smoke. Just, you know, you gotta be careful. You burn this thing down fast, fast, fast. Just try the light, headlights. <clears throat> oh, look. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and get the ignition, this ignition hooked up. Should be able to get the ignition hooked up and then we should be able to drive this thing to Applebee's without brakes. I, got, I think I have emergency brakes, so go get me some, uh, money's a little tight after buying this thing. I'll probably have to, uh, and my shop, I'm, I'm having a shop built. Probably just have to give me an appetizer from Applebee's. Just out of curiosity, I'm gonna see if these keys work. I doubt they work for this thing, but box was open. I'm gonna be mad if that if that thing doesn't work or if that was a return. I don't know when it's it's gonna warm up. I'm in Texas and one day it's one day it's 30 degrees and then the next day it's 85. You know, I can't make up its mind. AM starter and accessory. What does AM mean? Battery maybe? Amperage maybe? I don't know. Accessory starter. It has to be battery. Yeah, it has to be. <coughs> yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and go with battery. Okay. I don't know what AM means. I'm guessing it means battery. So I'm gonna hook it to battery and see what happens. Hopefully I get to at least hear it start up before it burns down, you know? That would be, that'd be nice, but you know how that goes. You've been there, been there too. And then we got accessory. This one goes to the ignition coil. I don't know if it's power while starting or cranking or what, but. Okay, ignition is hooked up with the exception of this wire that goes to the uh, coil. I'm gonna try and see if it'll turn over and then I'll try to see if we have spark and then I'll start it up. Ugh. Yep. 
Yes, sirree. She turns over. Let's see if we have spark. How am I gonna do this? Okay, so I think this one needs to be hooked up to the starter, to on the ignition switch. So when you're cranking the engine, this gives the coil power. And then once it starts up, runs on the generator power. I may be wrong, but I th think that's how it goes. I don't know. Let's try and see if we have spark. I'm sure this is going to look perfect because I think he was trying to start it a few years ago. This kind of scares me that he, that the distributor's loose like that. I don't like that. Man, this thing's kind of hard to get to. You know what? I'm not even going to check. I'm not even going to check for spark. Yeah, I'm not even gonna check for spark right now. I'm just gonna spray some stuff down it and see before it starts up. Yep, yep, yep. This thing's gonna start up. Dude, it's starting up. No way. Okay. <clears throat> so look. I need to hook this to ignition. <clears throat> Wait, so...
This thing's gonna run. It's little by little it's starting to fire up. Oh yeah, this is dude, this is too easy. Oh, there we go. Ah. <clears throat> okay. More gas. <clears throat> Oh, got a little backfire. Ah, uh, ah, uh, almost. Dude, I got a good feeling about this. I think I flooded it. Let's see. Starting to start here. Dude, that was crazy easy. I mean, it runs. How is this even possible? Look at the look at the spark plug wire. They're falling apart. You can't kill these motors. You cannot kill them. I barely saw just a puff of smoke, and then that's it. It wasn't smoking. This thing runs dead quiet too. Okay, so I guess what I'll do is. I got a problem, the locking, it has a locking gas cap on it. So I'll have to drill this out and I have another gas cap. I'll probably just steal one off of the, then put some gas in it. And I ordered, I it already came in. Yeah, I ordered a, uh, a six volt fuel pump. So I'll put the six volt fuel pump on, put some gas in the tank. Honestly, I'm not even gonna clean the gas tank. I, there's a fuel filter in the back. I'll put another fuel filter on it because I, I think that this thing's only been off the road for 15 years. So 
it's the last one i did the, the rambler that was off the road for about uh about 40 years so and that gas tank wasn't even that bad either okay so y'all know the drill we got it to fire off sounds decent a little bit of smoke next step is going to be i need to take the locking gas cap off drill it out put some gas in it and then i have a six volt fuel pump inside the house i'm gonna throw the fuel pump on there i doubt that this carburetor i really doubt that this carburetor is gonna work but it, it's pretty simple uh, i'll probably take it apart clean it find a carb kit if i have to um but the main thing right now is to get this thing to idle i i actually fired it up real fast and then i put it to dump the clutch put it in gear and and i it bumped forward a, a hair so i know the clutch works i know we have gears i need to get it to idle on it uh, by itself and i need to do the brakes so if i can get the if i can get the br front brakes working we should be good the rear brakes somebody put a, a a mopar it looks like an eight and three quarter rear end in it so it has disc brakes on the back and they never they never hooked up the the rear brakes so what i'll have to do is i'll cap that off hook the front brakes up the brake pedal just goes straight to the floor of course so gas fuel pump brakes and then applebee's let's go smells like 16 or 19 year old gas to me so should be okay to use that we'll go ahead and use that gas i'll probably just top it off i think that the gas gauge actually works because it was showing a quarter that's a lot of bad gas i'll probably throw some b12 some uh yeah babe some b12 in it and some more gas maybe a little bit of alcohol in case there's some water in it this is going to be easy. That shit works. Look at that. Alright, what we got here is awesome! It came with fuel line. Heck yeah. Look at that. I got a Chinese, Chinese gas tank for an ATV. And this I think this was like eight or ten dollars on eBay. I guess I'll just try to run the engine off of this for a little bit. All right, gas can, line, and the fucking accelerator pump works. Just can't believe it. Look. Okay, so the accelerator pump is working on this thing, but it's leaking real bad. I think the something might be wrong with the needle and float. I'm going to take it off and then attempt to clean it out. Okay, I have the carb I got the carburetor cleaned out. I just took it all apart and I sprayed it down with I had a half a can of carb cleaner and then I had some uh, brake parts cleaner and I just kind of took it all apart and uh you know clean the needle the seat just 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 clean it was, it was real gunky there's a lot of gunk in it it's leaking a little tiny bit right here really not even that bad it doesn't even drip or anything it's just like damp um and then i took the the fuel line i did notice that the fuel pump, the, somebody took the fuel pump off and uh, it's just it's just left open, so I'm gonna have to put the fuel pump back on it just to just to cover that big hole up. But I'll probably end up seeing if that fuel pump will work, that mechanical fuel pump. At the end of the day, it just depends on what's cheaper. <sighs> oh, almost fired up.
Yep. There we go. Like a sewing machine. And look. The wipers are even working. I did notice that we have a problem. See that? Got a leak in the... Uh, a leak and freeze plug. I've never replaced one before, but I'm sure it can't be that hard. I don't know if it's, it's not coming from the block, it's coming from the plug. So, see when I disconnect this battery, it just dies. So, I'll throw a new one new tire on it, or I'll grab one from the pile. One tire, and then I should be able to try to drive it around. So, let me pull the generator off really easy to do on it's a 49 Plymouth it's just bolt here looks like a bolt two bolts on the bottom there and there and then you got these two wires I'm gonna go ahead and bust out this freeze plug you can see it I had to remove the oil filler neck it's just one bolt and then there's a crack in that freeze plug Holy crap. How does that even happen? I got the freeze plug out. It was already pretty much, just look how bad this metal is, look. I mean, it's just falling apart. And the, uh, this has been replaced. Cause look. It says China on it. See, it says China. So, I wonder if this motor's been rebuilt at one point. But this, the inside is freaking horrible. I sprayed it out with brake, part, brake parts cleaner, but it is so bad. I mean, it's just full of gunk. <clears throat> and there's chunks in there too. Metal chunks. I don't know. That is crazy. I'm gonna have to do a. I'm gonna have to put a freeze plug in it and then do an engine flush. Okay, I got the old freeze plug out. And if you go to AutoZone and you ask and you tell them I got a 1949 Plymouth and I need a freeze plug, they're not gonna be able to pull up the freeze plug. But luckily, somebody had replaced this one, and I had the part number on it. It was a Dorman 555-068. That's for a 1949 Plymouth. So I got that on there. <clears throat> yeah, and I got the plug out. It's gross in there. It is gross. I mean, there is just... It was plugged. It was plugged full. I had to... Uh... I had to stick my finger in there and just get grab all that gunk out. So I'm gonna go ahead and, the way you do this is you sand the edges down, clean the inside of the block, and you take some steel wool, clean it out, put a little bit of RTV on this, and then just pop it back in, and you just kind of tap it in with a, with a hammer and a socket. Oh, and a, another thing that I did was, I'm gonna go ahead and convert this to 12 volts. So I took the generator off, um, the only generator shop I could find was they were out like four weeks back. So I ordered all the parts and it was around $230 for all the wiring, the starter solenoid, the alternator, everything, everything included to current convert this thing over to 12 volts. It was like $230. I also got the gauges ripped out. I pulled the gauges out. And I just started, I'm just starting from scratch. I literally just ripped all the wiring out. That way it doesn't confuse me. Here's the brake, the rear brake wires. This, this all goes to the rear. I don't know if I'm gonna replace that yet. I gotta test it. Um, probably should, probably will. But for right now, once, I, once, once the parts come in, 
I'll go ahead and put the alternator on and just get the ignition running. I just want to hook up the starter, the ignition, get this thing to fire up and drive around, and then I'll worry about the uh, worry about the um, the lights and all that stuff later on. It's, it's super simple, and I'll I'll kind of do like a little tutorial on how to convert these things from six volt to twelve volt. It's very 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 easy. There's not much to it. I mean, you just you know, obviously you put a new battery, put an alternator on it, you change it from positive ground to negative ground so now it's going to be a negative ground you get some new battery cables just some ten dollar battery cables buy a bunch of 12 volt wire and you wire it up just like any other old 12 volt car you're gonna have a starter solenoid power is going to go to the starter solenoid um, I, I bought a fuse panel with modern fuses so i'm gonna have everything go to the fuse panel super easy super easy and then so the, if i ever sell it or if i decide to put a radio in it the next guy he can add all the fancy stuff he can add the you know 12 volt gauges he could add a radio he could add a boom box you know whatever so <clears throat> and i was able to make this key work i had a key switch i had to bust apart the i had to bust apart the panel the dash panel and then to make this work but it works good so that looks kind of factory so this thing will look super factory and then you could always if somebody else buys it they could always add a 12 volt generator you don't have you don't have to keep the 12 volt alternator on there you could just it doesn't even not even a generator it just looks like the original generator but it's not it's 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 an alternator that looks like a generator it's pretty sweet so you could always do that they're really expensive they're like 300 something dollars but i'm more excited about shining this paint up because it's got, it's got some scuff some parts where the paint is chipped off but look at this when I rub it when I rub the paint with a rag and some brake cleaner I mean look at that that's gonna shine up good this thing's gonna be awesome looking yeah, yeah I'm excited about that that's gonna be awesome.